see what I'm This whole setting of meeting Zamala was not the way I envisioned it was going to be. I took myself unexpected, man. Is that English correct? Because I thought about it now after I spoke it. I took myself on a way. Ah, she did it. Hi guys, good evening. It's 4 38. How are we doing? I feel like I've had a very boring and long day today. Like today has just been just there and I've not really I've just been tired. I've just been lying down. So guess what? <laughs> I ordered Amala. I've not eaten Amala before, like in my 25 years, I'm not yet 25, my 24 years of living on this earth, I've not tested Amala. I actually wanted to test Amala in, um, when I when I went to Kwara State, where I come for my service, I was going to test Amala, I wanted to try it out to get more, you know, life circumstances and a lot of things. <laughs> I was more focused on another thing pertaining to my service. And then I forgot to eat amala and then I left. Now when I went when I came to you, I yeah, there was this amala spot I spotted in the mall. So I was going to try and eat amala there. But then what happened? Like, oh yeah, I can remember. Oh, I went to my friend Goya one day, you know, I wanted to go and try and eat amala. I can't remember if she has eaten it or not then. Oh I wanted to, I think she has eaten it, but I wanted to try and eat amala for the first time there. I was so ecstatic. We just though uh, we went to the restaurant there. And then when we got there, I um, <laughs> ended up buying rice instead of the amala because we were so hungry and I felt like we didn't want to spend money on something we were not familiar with. So we decided to like buy the usual rice. And then I felt bad afterwards, but I mean, not like I felt bad, but that is that I told myself I was going to come back and try the amala thing again and then that was how I stayed when you there and I didn't try the amala thing so this is the amala backstory and to tell you guys that I ordered amala from both food and for the sole purpose of trying it out I'm coming much more so I had to go and be my mic because this is what's put on that journey so let's get right into the eating. Let me just fix this in somewhere. It's not like I'm going to be talking while I'm eating though. The case asthma. What do they call it? That X A X M R Kini. I'm not even going to lie. This one I'm seeing here. I don't know. I'm just there's too much oil. See how it's looking. It's looking from our palate pressure. The ones I used to see online or everywhere that usually made me or that made me not to want to try it out is because there's always this green they say they say that, that thing is the um the eredu and there is the um, yellow stuff and then there's the stew and there's the amala on the plate. So I'm seeing something different here. I'm seeing like um I don't know, but it's different. I even wish I ordered the right thing. I asked my sister, she said it's the right thing that they mixed everything for me. Mm. But I'm loving the fact that there are meats inside of it. Let me try. See, I know the one I'm staying is not even nice. I want to stay on the floor, but there is no light, and my ring light has to work with light. So I'm managing. I have to stay close to a window for natural light. Camera. I'm not supposed to be talking when I'm eating. There's no pepper in this food. <sighs> this whole setting of me eating Zamala was not the way I envisioned it was going to be. I took myself unexpected, man. Is that English correct? Because I thought about it now after I spoke it. I took myself on a way. Ah, she did it. But Nigel, 
I think I'll give a full review when I'm done with it. For the sake of trying out new things, though. Nah, this is fat. I hate fat. Food. I hate eating fat, but I need it on my body. I'm coming by my gun, you put some form of my review. So, I had a wonderful first time experience of eating Amala. The next one I'm going to try, the next one I'm going to try is um, where they have to put the Amala. In the plates with the redu and the stew and the other yellow stuff. I would want to try eating it like that. Let me know that I've actually eaten the amala in its full form. If you know, if you get what I mean, if you get what I mean. I'm standing up because I'm tired of sitting down. And this was a fun experience. The food was not spicy. I like pepe, not so much, but I want to taste pepe in what I'm eating. And the food was not spicy. I don't know if that's how they make it or the restaurant's choice. I don't know. Nevertheless, it was nice. It was nice. It was nice. It tasted nice. The oil was totally giving. The oil was giving in volume. Not so much. But it was, it was nice. I don't know if my sister is going to eat the remaining one. I'm not sure. Because she has eaten Amalaka next time, so she probably may not eat it, which is fine. I may eat it later or not, because I'm actually full. Not from the Amala, because I've eaten already. Excuse me. I already ate before I decided to get the Amala, so I can have the experience. Since today has been kind of bland for me, so that's why. Oh, I hope to have an exciting weekend though. I hope to. I hope to. Please subscribe to my channel. This is not the end of this video or this vlog, but subscribe to my channel. Please. Please. Hey guys, good evening. Um, how are you doing? So, um, I've, like I said before, like, um, this vlog is actually somehow. <laughs> it's somehow. And I actually think that in the cost of um, shooting this vlog, I was like going to go out, but I also didn't expect to go out because I mean, somehow, somewhere in my mind, I knew I wasn't going to go out. So, this vlog is basically how I spend most of my time indoors. I'm not complaining, I like staying indoors, I like staying on my own sometimes, but it's not like it's something I would always want to doing i mean i want to go out sometime i love to go out sometime but most of the time i also want to stay in the house <laughs> plus going out to me because it's expensive before you say jack Robinson, like thousands of thousands of money and is leaving your pockets and you can't do anything about it so if i also want to go out i like to like have a plan so i don't go out spending money i shouldn't be spending so um <laughs> that, that's just it but this week has been i felt like i was stressed to an extent even though i didn't go out yeah i didn't really go out most of the time yeah like i didn't do i didn't have any serious outing to do i'm not i'm not an outdoorsy kind of person i think i like my space <laughs> i like my space a lot which is not nice <laughs> somehow it's nice this week has been i felt stressed stressed a feeling i was tired most of the time even though i wasn't doing so much and i'm trying to read this book the alchemist um i bought this book in 2020 i have this habit of whenever i buy a book i usually write um i usually write the year i bought it and and my name sort of i got this book in 2020 and i read it once which was not like me i like to read my books and i got to january 2020 this book it's 
it was nice it was so amazing like i loved how the author passed um, his message through fabo and it was it was very inspiring like you would want to continue reading it and i like how it also said that on how the universe can conspire to help you self development and stuff like that and it was during my era of self growth and development and stuff <laughs> I read the book and it really really helped my life then like I also like reading like physical books. I don't like I don't really enjoy reading um ebooks. It's just not as good as reading it physically so <laughs> so that's why I'm going to I want to read like two chapters in this book now. So I refresh my memory <laughs> Because I'm looking, I'm looking inside the book and I can see a lot of highlights I made, and man, sense. <laughs> Welcome to another day of my vlog. This vlog is actually one kind, one kind, but no words. So today is another day. Um, the time is 4:24. Yeah, it rained. It rained today, and I am so glad I did because it has. The weather has been so hot. Like you could literally stay in your house, and everywhere will be so uncomfortable. And the lights that they are, they've been giving us in this place has been low voltage, and the AC has not been working, and it has been so frustrating. We've been so dependent on fan. <laughs> Thank God for fan, though. Guy, like I was so happy. You needed to see the way I opened all the windows when it was raining because I needed the natural fresh air. And everywhere is a little bit chill, and I'm loving it. It's it's nice. So um. How are you guys doing? I don't know why I'm looking so puffy. My eyes are like puffy. And I'm looking like I just woke up from sleep. And I've never slept. So look at my hair. <laughs> I have to do my braid by myself. It's not a neat work, but I'm giving myself some accolades. I'm trying not to be touching my hair because I realized that the um the locks I did the person that the hair person that helped me um losing it cut my hair i cannot even really pack my hair the way i used to pack it i was so angry not like angry i was so pissed off so i'm trying not to be touching my hair all the time so that was why i had to i've not really braided anything on my hair for a long time i'm not even sure i'm going to do braid for the longest of time because even my front hair everything just went off and it's not nice so I'm trying to just be doing um normal or back breathing while I wear a wig if I want to go out for the meantime. Let me see if my hair is going to like go back. If not, I'll end up having this hair. Just like they told me that it will not fit me. I know it will not fit me because I have a very flat head, so probably will not fit me, but at least I'll be wearing a wig if I want to go out. It's not like I'm actually going to go out like that with my bald head. So So guys, my order from Tika 
came in it's um skincare i decided to pay more attention to my skin especially my face i don't know this light is somehow making my acne is my people like disappearing the spots and all that like i'm trying to I'm trying to pay more attention to my skin so that was why i had to invest in skincare let me see how far it's going to take me because i don't really have um an amazing spotless smooth skin <laughs> so i've no I'm, I'm not really the type i've not really been the type to actually um do the skincare routine stuff i think i'll consider myself as an impatient person when it comes to <laughs> skincare routines because when i see that it's not actually working i'll stop because i'm scared of my face darkening so it was not it was recently that my start told me that all those things were like because i was i tried to do dr rachel like the skincare set and all of these things i tried it um that was last that was last year yeah i tried i tried using um dr rachel on my face in two weeks my face be, my face was changing color like i was felt like i was having rashes and i was scared so i had to stop using it and it was later on it was like recently that my sister told me that my skin was purging like because i started using a skincare routine that my skin was purging and all of those things i should have continued and stuff like that but i did not know now so i had to discard it but i've decided to try um a more sustainable routine that i'm going to see through and also see the effect it will have on my skin so that was i made an order from Tika and came in i'm going to show you guys was inside the package you guys can check them out shop with Tika on instagram this is the first i'm buying for them and i actually loved how um seamless it was to purchase from the website and the review was just made without any wala so this is the cleanser that i got uh, this is cos rs salicylic acid daily cleanser so the reason why I actually went for salicylic was because of my acne. I usually have acne. Period, post, period. I think I have an acne prone skin, sort of. Yeah, so this cleanser will do the magic. I actually did my research a bit so I would know what works and what wasn't going to work. And I think I'm going to try this out and see how it is. I've actually used it. I think I used it on my face after I finished. I used it just after my shower and I liked it. The first time I used it, I had to use um, a big amount and my face was foamy. So I realized I have to take it in small quantity, which I did. So the second one is, this one is Advanced Nemusin Power Essence Cause RS. I've been using my sister's own since I came to Lagos. So I decided to get mine. I love how smooth this Nemesis makes my face. Like after I'm done using it, and I love how it actually locks in moisture. I think I want I wanted to focus more on healing my my skin barrier because I need to start from there before I will actually move to the next step. And this essence is the nicest one to use. I I saw a lot of reviews on IG too. Because the next one I got was Beauty of Josun. These three, these three stuffs I've bought. They are both Korean, Korean brands. So this one was made in Korea. Cosaris was made in Korea. So this Beauty of Josun is a serum and it has propolis and niacinamide. And I needed something with niacinamide, and that was what I actually went to. It also helps with acne. Yeah, I think yeah, it helps with acne and. I think my major focus is to heal all these my acne and dark spots and all those things. I just feel it's really good for my skin. So this one is simple, the moisturizer. I love this brand. I've not used it before, but I actually find a lot of it. If you see their Instagram page, you will know that the brand is actually a very simple brand. <laughs> it's simple and yet effective, something like that. It's a moisturizer. This moisturizer actually locks in 
serious moisture and i went for the hydrating light moisturizer for my face so i'm going to try it out which this one is sunscreen prior to now i've never used let me not say i've never i've used sunscreen but i do not think it was that important oh this is by uv and i did not get it from shop from tika the sunscreen i wanted to get from tika got finished at the point of order and i did not want to order half half because delivery fee i'm not really i'm not ready to go and pay that amount of delivery for just one product so i have to order from jumia i was skeptical about ordering this from jumia because you know jumia although all the things i've actually bought from jumia are like nine years i've not had the bad experience and i've used this i've used this once it's spf 50 and i did my research i had to browse and this particular sunscreen had um an amazing had amazing reviews and i was so scared so i don't even buy the fake i don't even know if this one is the fake but the packaging came like it was like the original it's a japan product and it's not it does not give white cast like let me try i've used it i just wanted to show you girl. it's very watery and lightweight like you'll not even notice that you use it's not all those ones that you force you force for the sunscreen like you force for it to blend this one just blends and i like it even the smell has even disappeared i think i think what's actually smell is the container yeah not the sunscreen i like it so guys that's about the end of my skincare haul from shop from tika and my sunscreen from jumia i just wanted to put you guys on my leader skincare thing <laughs> I can't wait to share um, with you guys um, the effects on my skin and how good it's making my skin look because it has to make my skin look good. It has to. Yeah. So, um, this is about the end of my skincare haul. I didn't even plan to do this, but I'm doing it. Huh? Yeah.